Suppose we want to increase the voltage of our only battery. We have an inductor, a transistor, a diode, and a capacitor. We also have a device to which we have to deliver power, represented here by a light bulb. The connection to the gate of the transistor is not shown, but this is a voltage that we control. Suppose we control this gate voltage in a way such that the transistor behaves like a switch, which we can turn on or off. the switch, we will cause a DC voltage to appear across the inductor. The current through the inductor will keep increasing so long as the switch is closed. The current through an inductor cannot change instantaneously. Therefore, the moment we open the switch, the inductor will create a force causing the current to continue flowing. Suppose we keep turning the switch on and off. switch on and off, we have created a DC output voltage at the light bulb that is higher than the voltage of the battery. We call this a boost converter. We can control the value of the DC output voltage at the light bulb by controlling the percentage of time that this switch is on. Suppose that we leave the switch off all the time. With the switch off 100% of the time, the output voltage will equal the voltage of the battery. What if we instead have the switch on most of the time? If the switch is almost always on, then assuming we have ideal components, the current will theoretically keep increasing to infinity.
light bulb that is lower than the voltage of the battery. Assuming that we had ideal components, this circuit would be 100% efficient. This is because ideal capacitors, ideal inductors, and ideal switches do not dissipate any energy as heat. We're thinking of the transistor as an ideal switch. An ideal diode can also be thought of as a switch. The diode is an off switch when it is blocking current from flowing in the reverse direction. And the diode is an on switch when current flows in the forward direction. The buck converter uses the exact same components as the boost converter, just arranged differently. In the real world, of course, these components are not ideal and they do in fact dissipate power. But the basic principles are the same. These basic principles are that transistors are operated as switches. And we never try to change the current through an inductor instantaneously. Much more information is available in the other videos on this channel, and please subscribe for notifications when new videos are ready.